Hello Mario, are you interested in the Xbox One or PlayStation 4? <laughs> the thing is, it's the third Xbox, or why is it called the Xbox One? I know, right? What's the next Xbox going to be called? Xbox Two. <laughs> well, I'm happy as long as it has Portal on it. Oh right, so you really like Portal? Oh yes, but it's a shame we can't really make portals in real life. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the funny thing is, I got this email this morning, and it said I could have the powers of creating portals in real life if I just sent ten thousand coins along with my name, address, email, phone number, and date of birth. You didn't send all that money. <laughs> of course I did. And now I'm going to try my power portals in Bob on Battlefield. It's not fair, Mario. I want superpowers so I can better welcome people into the castle. Alfie, you don't need superpowers. You're fine the way you are. Off to Bob on Battlefield. Right, so in the instructions it said up for portal 1 and down for portal 2. Yeah, that works. Portal 1. Portal 2. Still alive, and once you've got. Let's try this out. Yeah, that works. And this one. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Come on, Goomba. <laughs> Hello, James Stewart here. Well, my equalizer cheat code cartridge has broken down. So I'm having to continue on my computer using Project 64 <laughs> and now my headset has stopped working so I'm having to use the PlayStation camera. Windows likes the microphone but not the camera so anyway the idea of this code was to bring a bit of portal into Super Mario 64 by modifying the warps, the flower bed warps uh, which are similar to the warps on the mountain and etc um, so that they're like portals so you sort of walk into one and end up in another it's not quite like portal but as close as I've been able to get now the thing I was originally going to show is Cooper the Quick so if we accept his challenge <laughs> go 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 one second about one second. I actually got a lot less than that when I originally did it. But anyway, hopefully you have some fun with this code. And I'm just going to talk a bit about how it works. So you know, all know the warps in the flower beds and so on. Uh, I had to modify them to behave like portals. First thing, the hard thing was removing the overlays. The overlays what are called the transitions where it goes white or you see the circle or the star um, that kind of thing. So the difficulty was in removing those overlays and also when Mario goes transparent. Um, interesting enough when Mario goes transparent when warping this is achieved through the cap modifier which is very interesting indeed. Um, as for moving the warps so pressing D-pad up to place warp 1 and D-pad down, uh, sorry, portal 1, D-pad down for portal 2. This is a mini program which checks the D-pad and then moves the warps uh, to Mario's, or a bit in front of Mario, um, uh, position. So it's actually moving the warps, uh, but I made them to look like portals. So here's, here's Cooper the Quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I used the zero colourful character, which will then the one, two, etc., come out the red coins, uh, and also used on the HUDs at zero, as you can see. Um, I just gave them that graphic and made them larger so they look like a portal. Well, please enjoy this code, and any questions, please ask, and that's bye for now.